Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. We're tracking another day with not widespread storms, but storms that do form could be severe. This has been a pretty active pattern over the last couple of days, especially across the Mid-South and into the Southeast. Some storms have gone around the Charlotte area, but we've seen severe weather north, east, south today. A little bit different setup, so we're going to get into this. And it's pretty interesting to see this setup today. I'm going to stop the loop here. And you can see we've got two areas of concern. One, we've got a cold front approaching. But we also have what we call an MCV. It's an old thunderstorm complex that's produced its own low pressure and a stalled front. So this could be coming in from this direction and the cold front's coming in from this direction. Because of that, there's two ways we could get severe storms today. One from that front and then one from the old thunderstorm complex to the south. So let's turn off the uh, satellite data and turn on the severe weather outlook because it matches what I'm talking about. You could see we've got this medium to low risk along the front and then this secondary medium to low risk along the old MCV, which will be coming in from this direction. So pretty interesting setup as we go into the afternoon hours and especially this evening. This to me looks more of a evening nighttime setup. I don't think we'll see a lot of storms during the day today. It's going to be evening and after. So we'll get into that detail here as we get into the forecast in a second. But I'll just show you tomorrow this risk begins to shift off to the east and you still see a low risk as everything, especially as the front, pushes out towards the coast. But let's focus on this setup today. So I'm going to start pretty wide with the outlook today. And you can see this is our feature cast. We'll go into the afternoon hours. I'll stop this mid-afternoon, 3 o'clock or so. You can clearly see the cold front getting active. It's pretty far away, though. This stretches from uh, you know northeast Ohio back to Memphis. But this is really what I'm watching for the evening hours. I think this is probably going to be more of a problem for us than anything. So I'll zoom in a little bit closer in. We'll kind of show you how this unfolds. So this is three o'clock, so not a lot going on. Remember I said this is mainly going to be an evening and tonight setup. We'll get into about 6 p.m. We start to see some scattered to isolated storms, but it's six o'clock, maybe on the ridge tops. But watch down in here what happens down to our south as this cluster really cranks up around eight o'clock and starts to push east. So the highest risk of severe is probably going to be south of I-40 and into South Carolina. So this area in particular, remember that's the area that was highlighted in the severe weather outlook for today in that medium risk. And you can see that line kind of come together um, from Charlotte South. So again, man, Columbia and the Midlands of South Carolina, they've had like three, four days in a row, of just monster storms moving through. But look at the time frame at the top of the screen here. Um, so this is around 10 o'clock tonight. So this is why I really think it's going to be an evening or overnight setup. We go through the evening, this is 11 o'clock, midnight. And then we'll go to 1, 2 a.m. in the morning as it pushes off to the east. So you get the idea. This could be a late evening setup. I'll loop this a couple of times. And you can see that movement off to the east. So what is the main concern with this type of setup? Primarily, we're worried about wind. And I'll show you why. So this is the reason the risk for severe is heightened today over a normal summer day. I had a lot of people you know, always lament about, well, this is just summer. No, it's these aren't normal summer storms, people. This is a little different, OK? Uh, we've got a lot of wind energy in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. So you see, this is the 700 millibar winds, what we call about 10,000 feet or 700 millibars. You see that little burst of wind there coming in this evening, and I'll highlight it. You see these heightened winds up around, um, up around that 700 millibar level, so 10,000 feet. Those are really strong winds, and when you see that in the mid-levels and you have dry air, you can mix down really strong winds. So that's why this setup is primarily a straight-line wind event. Um, this MCV, we call it, came out of Texas last night. It caused crazy wind there. I mean, they had 100 mile an hour gusts and widespread damage. Now, I'm not expecting anything like that, but that is the remnant of that same system that's going to be rotating through. And you can see as it moves off to the coast, look how the winds enhance in eastern North Carolina into early tomorrow morning. So that's why you see the risk of severe staying with us. Now, remember, typically in the summer, the jet stream starts to retreat back to the north, and we don't have these type of winds. Um, over us. We just have the typical pulse afternoon thunderstorms. That's more typical the summer. Having the jet stream dip like that briefly, that creates more wind energy than we normally have in the summertime. So the main concern is going to be those straight line winds. So just to recap, again, there's a risk for strong to severe storms mainly this evening. It's not going to happen everywhere. That's the one thing I will emphasize. So people still will, will, will not understand that this is going to be scattered to isolated severe storms. They're going to be coming in this evening after five, six o'clock into the overnight hours till maybe two in the morning. So this loop right here you're seeing runs through 2 a.m. So you get the idea 
you know, if I were to give you a specific time and it's hard to do because it's, you know, we don't know when the, how the storms will unfold, but I really think dinner time and beyond. So five, six, seven o'clock and then eight, nine, 10 o'clock, they can linger. Highest risk probably to the south, which exactly matches our severe weather outlook. You see the area in orange and yellow. I'll loop this and this will really kind of highlight. Those are the areas we're watching for severe weather. That's why you see the higher risk from Charlotte South and the lower risk just to the north. So those are the areas we're watching. Of course, it, things will evolve and change as we get into the afternoon and we'll have you covered on WCNC and WCNC Plus and I will post updates throughout the afternoon and evening. Stay safe, stay weather aware and get ready for some active severe storms possibly as soon as this evening.